Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy trigger mod on your Tavor. You'll only need a couple of basic tools. You'll need a hammer, a 1 8 inch punch, some kind of pick or small screwdriver, and a bench block. Today I'm just going to be using my hockey puck with a hole drilled in the middle. Works fine for this application. Before we get to the actual mod, we're going to test the stock trigger pull weight using a Lyman digital trigger pull scale. We'll do 10 readings, then take an average. Ten pounds, five point five ounces. And finally, our tenth and last reading. Ten pounds, three point five. Let's look at the average here. So we have an average of ten pounds, two ounces for the stock trigger. First, we need to remove the Tavor's recoiling system. We do this by popping out this pin here, remove the recoiling system, you can put that aside for now. Then to remove the trigger pack, we pop out these two pins here. And the trigger pack will just fall out. You can put the Tavor aside as we're going to be working on the trigger pack. Okay, we're zoomed into the uh, trigger mechanism. This mod only requires removal of this spring right here. First thing we need to do is unhook it from the sear activator. That's this piece here. The spring is only hooked on. You can grab your, your pick or a small screwdriver and it's just a simple matter of grabbing it and unhooking it. Okay, maybe it's not so simple. There we go. Okay, now that it's off, you'll see that it's just sitting there. The only thing holding it in at this point is back here, there's a roll pin. So we need to punch that roll pin out. You don't need to punch this roll pin out all the way, just uh, over a quarter of an inch maybe. You just want to get it in enough so that it releases the spring. Let's go ahead and do that. And there's the spring. It just falls right out. That's it. We're done. We just need to punch the roll pin back in flush and put the trigger mechanism and the recoiling system back in place. You want to make sure this is flush so it doesn't grab the uh, grab the edges of the rifle when you reinsert it. Okay, let's reassemble it and trigger, check our uh, trigger pull. Now that we have everything back together, we'll take the average of another 10 readings and see how much lighter we made the trigger. Eight pounds, 7.5 ounces. And finally, our tenth. Eight pounds, eight ounces. That gives us an average of eight pounds, seven ounces, down from ten pounds, two ounces. So that's not bad. By simply removing the spring, we dropped about two pounds off the trigger. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Please feel free to comment and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.